Welcome to Embracing Matches. Uh, this is going to be the weekly love reading for the sign of Libra. Uh, thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed, hit the notification bell, um, paid for a reading. Um, anyone that's donated to the page, sent me a message, sent me an email, um, sent me comments down below. Thank you so much. This energy for this reading could be masculine or feminine, could be about yourself, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Cross watcher, if you don't have any Libra in your chart, just hang out for a while. Maybe Spirit has something for you as well. Okay? So basically, Libras, you guys have been in your feelings. You guys have been doing the most. All right? Spirit is saying that you need peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Spirit is saying, stop worrying. Stop moving the way that you have been moving. Relax. Have peace. Give it all to the universe, meaning put your faith in whatever it is that you're worried about and let it go. Okay? This could be causing you bad health. You guys could be having migraines and stomach aches and all types of things going on right now because of you worrying so much. Right? Somebody could feel intimidated as well. Some sort of stressful situation has someone feeling intimidated and curious at the same time and what's going to happen, how things are going to work out. You or someone else may feel like you're with a person that's very special, irreplaceable, and one of a kind. But one of you also feels that the other one is moving in a controlled, empty, submissive way with the spirit of the zombie, meaning um, they're e uh, very, very easily manipula manipulated by other people. I'm sorry, I can't even talk tonight. Someone may feel like someone in this union is not standing up for themselves. They're not uh, asserting their power. They're not showing their strength. They may not be speaking up for themselves. Okay, someone has silenced themselves. Someone feels that that person that silenced themselves could be a sellout because they're not standing up for themselves and whatever it is that they need to stand up for. And someone feels that someone's just being very self-indulgent. You have romantic feelings for someone. Um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. You have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And this could be a, a soulmate card and it's confirmed with the past life relationship card. You have known each other before. Okay. When it comes to this card, you have vision. Let's see what this card, number eight. It says, no matter what you lose in your life, something better will, will replace it. So you may be in your feelings right now because you feel like you're going to take a loss in some nature. But just know the Spirit is here to tell you that whatever it is that you're losing will be replaced tenfold. Everything is going to work its way out. You have the trapped card. Okay. Do you feel as if you're trapped in your life right now? Do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of you that may not be able to be fulfilled by you? Do you feel as if you will never get what you want or go where you want to go? Have patience. For truly you are in a temporary prison that exists only in your mind. Your circumstances, no matter what they are, will change. And you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. Okay? So in these times, dreaming is the best antidote. Okay? And of course, patience. All right? So Spirit is saying that you need to trust. All right? You, you need to understand, right, that you are, you know, on your right path. You're doing everything the way that you need to be doing it. You need to have patience, love, and understanding for yourself. Okay, you need to stop thinking about what other people think about you and what they're saying behind your back or what have you. You need to trust, okay? Trust in yourself, trust in the divine. You also have the obedience card. When it comes to obedience, the message is as follows. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? 
you will be sorry if you're going to break a rule that is in place to protect you or others. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is not the time to, excuse me, this is the time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of this information before you attempt to change what does not suit you. Okay, now, I guess this would be like the, maybe the justice card, okay? So you, you're being called, this maybe could be, you know, uh, you are a Libra, right? Maybe they're saying that you need to balance some things out in your life, okay? Maybe you need to just get it all together, put it all into perspective, right? Like, make sure that you're doing things by the book. Make sure you're doing what you need to be doing and not going around certain things and trying to find a different way to do them is what I'm hearing from spirit. You know, spirit is calling you to do things in a manner where you're doing it the absolute right way right now. Let's see if we have any more messages. Libra. Okay. Yeah, so someone's in contemplation mode here with the hermit card. Okay, someone's thinking very heavily. And that's what spirit is saying over here. You need to have peace. Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you. Someone could be gossiping about you. Someone could have something to say. Okay. Um, yeah, people could be talking about your union right now. Could be talk of the town. You never know. You know what I mean? But either way, Spirit is telling you, don't worry about what these people are saying with this trap card. Don't worry about what they're saying. Don't worry about what they're doing. Just move accordingly the way that you need to move. Okay, Libras, this has been your message for the week. If you need a personal reading, please let me know. You guys take care.